As an educator, you know that assessment involves more than simply grading. Assessment encompasses the entire process of measuring, evaluating, documenting, and communicating learner performance. Assessments are among the most powerful tools we can use to implement and maintain effective and motivating learning environments for students. Good assessment practices provide information about how well learners are learning and can also provide insights about teaching for the instructor. Hi, I'm Lynn DeLorme, an instructional designer with the Digital Education and Innovation team. For the next few moments, we'll focus on assessment. Assessment and grading criteria are addressed in the CHECK, Our Best Practices Guide. As part of good course design, we recommend the following. Assessment should be aligned with course level and assignment level learning objectives in order to provide students with a clear understanding of how the activity fits into the course. Answer the question, why are we doing this activity, before students ask. Provide students with clear and specific information about how work will be evaluated and scored, such as a rubric or model examples to follow. When students understand expectations, they are more likely to reach them. Good assessment occurs early and often within a course and honors a complete feedback cycle. That is, students receive regular, direct, and timely information about their own progress that they can use to make positive changes. Provide a way for students to check their progress throughout the course. Be upfront about your grading policy and include it in your syllabus and for each assignment or graded activity. Consider including an array of graded activities and strategies to measure student progress, such as quizzes, portfolios, peer review, or projects. This provides students with options that accommodate their individual learning differences and strengths. When choosing an appropriate supportive technology, it is helpful to consider assessment strategies according to five broad categories. There is a direct relationship between student time on task and the quality of learning outcomes. Use these assessment strategies to help gauge the degree and quality of student engagement with the course materials as well as class participation and effort. Consider supportive technologies that include features for tracking participation levels and scoring attendance. Learning is partially socially constructed. Use discussion to encourage students to share, debate, and consider ideas with one another. Don't forget to provide students with clear guidelines about discussion etiquette and take time to cultivate a courteous and respectful course climate. Consider supportive technologies such as forums, web conferencing, and collaborative document development. Written assignments allow students to reflect upon their understanding, demonstrate understanding of supporting information, and present points of view in thoughtful ways. When assigning written activities within a course, consider including a rubric and exemplary samples of finished work to guide student performance. Also remind students to follow proper protocols to credit and cite source materials to avoid plagiarism. Supportive technologies include course site features for exchanging and reviewing written work. Media development and project-based assessments provide students with opportunities to demonstrate higher level learning by applying an array of skills such as writing, creativity, research skills, and the ability to synthesize multiple ideas and concepts into a cohesive end product. Be aware that assessments of this type require longer timelines, and students may benefit from a guided process approach that breaks the project down into subtasks that build toward the final product. Students may also require additional technical support or targeted training if the activity includes digital technologies. This category includes graded exams or quizzes, practice quizzes for self-assessment, and surveys or polls for measuring student comprehension or learning needs. Surveys, polls, and short quizzes can also be used as tools for informal course evaluation or to gauge if students need additional time with a particular topic. Keep in mind that using graded exams or quizzes in an online environment requires additional design considerations, including exam security. Feedback is as important to the assessment process as measuring performance and a necessary component of a good assessment system. Students need and want to know how they are doing in a course, and when feedback is provided early and often, students have the opportunity to respond and make any needed adjustments in their performance to achieve successful course outcomes. Your course gradebook is another valuable tool to support feedback. 
Your course gradebook is a secure and powerful system to store, calculate, and report scores and feedback to each student enrolled in your course. There are two significant reasons to use your course gradebook. When properly configured, the gradebook supports most instructors' grading approaches and can save time and effort calculating and communicating marks and scores, especially when integrated with some of the other automated assessment features. Grades can also be exported as a PeopleSoft compatible file for midterm and final grade reporting. The ability to check scores and grades at any time online is a significant benefit for students. The gradebook is a private and secure way to communicate performance information with each student without the need for email, office visits, or coded rosters. As many instructors have unique assessment and evaluation schemas, we recommend taking advantage of available training events or individualized support to make the most of your gradebook. Your instructional designer or IT fellow is available to assist you. You will also find additional information about assessment in our TREX site, including helpful links and other recommended readings. Thank you for watching.